Hi friends and welcome to Stamping with Wow. Today we're going to be creating this card using different cardstock. This particular card's in Pretty Peacock with Coastal Cabana and Whisper White Flowers. And the banner I made here is with Pretty Peacock Designer Series paper, a strip of Coastal Cabana, and some copper foiling. And then of course my sentiments on Whisper White with Pretty Peacock ink. But we're going to make a card very similar to this. This is the stamp set we're going to be using for the sentiment. And there's a bundle of this stamp set called Blossoms in Bloom. And it comes with, if you buy the bundle, you get um, the die cuts and the stamp set for $60.25. And right now I'm going to be doing a series of cards and gift boxes. This is on page 51 of our annual catalog if you're interested in ordering. This is my store website and my hostess code if you're ordering in the month of July 2020. I'm going to be using a seaside spray card. So this is measures eight and a half by five and a half and it's scored at the four and a quarter. So this is going to be five and a quarter by four. This sentiment is going to help start the banner and so I used a one inch width and it's the full length of the designer series paper but you can see um, it's not going to go all the way down. It's about five inches, half inch by five and a quarter. And I'm just using a scrap of the bronze foil and this is the die cut I'm using to stamp out the emblem that goes behind the sentiment. Now this particular uh, die cut is coming from the Painted Labels dies. The dies are really neat. I, I love this die, I really love this die, and I love these two dies. And these are really great for added sentiments. And I have a quarter inch strip to add that length right here. And then I have another quarter inch strip of the Seaside Spray, just to recreate this little banner. And this is a one and one fourth inch square of Whisper White for my sentiment. Two pieces of Whisper White paper that are four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so we're just gonna lay those next to each other. So one of the sheets, I'm going to do this outline. I'm going to get this other die cut and we're going to get that on here. Now I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. And there you have the two die cuts you need. I have this little sponge and a little tray that I'm just going to put some glue in and so I can dab it onto my flower base or onto sorry onto this flower piece so I don't get glue everywhere so I'm just going to use a little bit of glue and I'm just going to dab it on all over the flower just so I can adhere it without a big gluey mess and then I'm going to lay this down and align it Nope, wrong way. I'm going to use Stamping Seal to adhere these two cards together. Let's try to get it on straight. And then we can go ahead and adhere this and now we have some deep white areas but I'm still going to go ahead and use the Tombow. I just think it's easier. I'm just getting the big pieces and trying to get some edges. I feel like that's the top. See how the flowers facing up like that? So now we're going to create this uh, banner cluster we have going on right here. So let's get our square and our We'll call it a medallion. I'm going to use the Seaside Spray ink. And here's my... Oh, I'm saying sure do miss you. That's the other sentiment in this. Let's see if I was successful. That looks good. I'm going to pop that up on a dimensional. I like it where these are going in a diamond and this is square or vice versa. It just gives you that, those points. 
So I'm just looking at it, making sure it looks even. Yeah, that's fine. So there you go. I think that looks really pretty. And now we're gonna create the paper part. So the first thing I wanna do is take my designer series paper that's one inch by six inches and I'm probably just going to cut it uh, down to five inches, but I'm just going to cut off about an inch. And then on the bottom, now this is directional paper, so you have to be careful when you first trim it to make sure you're going in the right direction. And then I'm just going to snip about a half an inch up. And I'm going to come from one end and I'm going to come from the other end. If I notice my banner looks crooked, I will always fix that. So don't think I'm just some real, I make that look so easy like I'm a pro. I have as much trouble as everyone else. So I'm gonna cut this guy and come in and create the banner again. Oops, and I'm gonna do that for all four pieces. And if at any point it doesn't look straight, like this guy kinda, and this one, this was a scrap to begin with, so I'm just gonna cut it here. So I'm gonna then cut it like that. And then one more, we're gonna do the copper or the bronze paper. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to cut some of these off, but I'm gonna start by lay laying this piece down and seeing how it looks. So I really, do I want more or less? So I can do that. So we can add um, the stamping seal or we can use the liquid glue. I'm gonna keep my hands clean and use stamping seal, how's that? And I just wanna have it come up to that paper and just make sure you're straight. Then we're gonna put this guy down and he might need a cut. Yeah, we're gonna wanna cut off a little bit of him. So I'm just using that paper as my guide right there. So now I'm just gonna come down and put some stamping seal. And put him off to the side, there we go. Then it looks like, oh, I guess I need a, I was using a small one. Well, we'll still make it work. We can just put him right here instead of, I used two large ones. I thought I used a skinny one. This one I will use the Tombow because it's so thin. I don't wanna get the stamping seal all over it. So we'll just stick this one right here. Gonna scoot it a little bit. All right. Then we're gonna put the foil just about like that. So it's, and we're gonna snip that again. And I'll use some glue again on this one just cause of how small it is. And if you get smear marks on here, just take a baby wipe. It is a little crooked. And you can just buff it off. I love this gold foil. I'm gonna show you another, um, another way I used it. And I was just like, oh my gosh, die cutting with the foil paper is incredible. Like the, it just adds such a touch to the die cutting. Yeah, we can put it down here. We don't want to cover up the fact that we cut three banners, but. And they have it a nice, quick and easy card. I think it came out really cute. Both of these are my favorite. Here are the three different cards I've made creating this cluster using this same emblem and the Blooming Blossom die cuts. Um, they all came out really pretty and I'm really happy with all three cards. I'm going to add a piece of Whisper White in here, four inches by five and a quarter. I'm gonna use the big floral stamp from the Blossoms and Bloom. 
and I'm going to do a, I'm going to stamp it off to see if I can get a second layer and we'll see how that works. So we're going to do that and then I don't want to cover it all up in case you wanted to write something on the card. Let's try that. Oh, that came out really pretty. So we're going to leave it like that and that gives you enough room to do a note card and then what the heck, let's just go hog wild crazy, since I found my envelopes too. We're gonna stamp it on the end, the back end. Oh, that looks really pretty too. We could add one more flower right there. I'm just gonna stamp it right in here. We could stamp it off and see. There we go, that was pretty lucky. And that's it. We're just going to add some stamping seal to the, the to the inside cardstock, and we're going to attach it in our card. And there we have a pretty card and a pretty envelope to match. I hope you enjoyed watching. Talk to you later.